Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I will show you how you can set up VS Code for HTML and CSS so that you can code faster and your development process is a lot smoother. So I have this project here. Typically, if I need to test it and see what is happening is I just go to my project folder and just double click and I can see this is the page. Now, it's a long process. So how you can see what is going on inside VS Code like this is, let me just show it to you first. So as you can see here, I can see my folder here and I can click on this and live preview will be shown here. I can change the colors and I can do anything here and it will be immediately shown in my editor here. So I can easily pick a better color that I want, right, like this. So yeah, so what is this? Now this is an extension called live server. So let me show you how you can enable this. First let me close this and now go to your extensions here search for live server and click on this I already have this enabled so in your case if this is not installed you will be able to install it pretty easily let me just search for it again so this is what you will be seeing with this install button just click on this and your live server will be installed now go back to your page here and now you can right click on this and if you click on open with live server this page will be opened but it will be opened in the browser now we want to see this inside our VS Code right so what you can do is you can just right click here and click on command palette or hit the shortcut ctrl shift p and search for live preview and you will see this option the first one start server just click on this and your code will be live here i can click on any of the html css here and i can see the result so let's say i want to change the buttons color to something else and choose another color like this so yeah this is the live preview server now another very important extension is let's say i have head here right let's say i want to change something here now this is head now if i go down here now this is head as it is highlighted but in the case of divisions there can be a lot of divisions right so if i click on this and i want to change this division and i can scroll down and i don't know which one is the ending tag for this division so as you can see here it is being highlighted right underlined so what is this this is an extension called tag highlighter so this is the extension this is the logo here highlight matching tag so you can search for highlight matching tag and install this and when you have very long code you can just click on one tag and your closing tag will be highlighted like this okay now another very important extension that i use is let me show you the work first so let's say i want to have a tag here right let's say i have a div called you know something right and it is down here All right so let's say this I want to change this division to something else let's say we want to call this a section or a block or whatever so if I write section here the matching tag is already renamed so as you can see the matching tag is auto renamed so if I change this to section this is also changed to section All right so and if I change it back to div, now its closing tag is also changed to div. This speeds up a lot of process, especially when you have very long forms. You need to change the first one and then scroll down and change the closing tag. So this makes it very easy. So this is auto tag, auto rename tag. So this is the logo and this is auto rename tag from Jun Han. So yeah, use these three extensions and your HTML and CSS workflow will be speed it up and yeah let me know if you have any questions